Hey there, my fellow campers, and welcome to another Wicked Wednesday of the Quarry. This is your host, Callan Hale. I hope you're all having a good day. As I mentioned in the last episode, recording is a bit ahead of time. Uh, actually, a week ahead of time. Just so I can have uh, them out, because I'd like to work on a few other things as well. As always, if you're enjoying, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends on social media. We are picking up exactly where we left off. And please uh, sit back, relax, throw on your headphones, grab your favorite beverage, grab your favorite snack, turn out the lights, close the blinds, and let's get ready to get spooky. Hey, Max, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, right. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just don't feel so good. Um, what do you need? What can I do to help? I was just hot. Are you hot? Well, I'm kind of stuck next to this big ass pipe, so I'm not exactly cool. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. Max? Max? Tell me what's going on! Depth perception. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. Go that route yet. Locked. What 
is he hiding? Hello? Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. What are you hiding, Travis? And we'll be looking at all the evidence again uh, during the terrifying Thursday. He was born in wearing this can't be doing too well. Thursday, I need to lie down. What I'd like to do is do a cinematic viewpoint from uh, start to finish. 
of this as a long form playlist, so probably, I think the game's about eight hours, probably like four hour videos a piece with no commentary, just on their own playlist. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. July 7th. The things you should never do, use your birthday and your password. I'm a retired cybersecurity professional. That's like 101. Locked. Figures. But I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. hikers at all but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry never to be seen again like us except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 blah, blah part we're, we're more like um ghost investigators specter sleuths sure so what happened next well according to reports from the local paper the north kill gazette some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep.
seen everything I think we can see. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Happy? Brew some coffee. What's this? An education. Watch. <laughs> nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean. harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh, what? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. Not what I had in mind. You're seriously asking for my help? I don't want you to help me. You're gonna do this for Max, and I'm gonna get what I need. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. 
And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver, and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight, or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, it has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. Uh, we'll go concerned. So wait, if Max got me in the eye, doesn't that mean I'm infected now too? No. Scratches don't do it. Only bites. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Cause your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter, because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him. About... the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye? Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. 
but it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. Fucking bet one of them, Chris. What's I supposed to do? <sighs> what was that? What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow, we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Huh? And that is where we're gonna end this Wicked Wednesday, folks. If you did enjoy this, fellow campers, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. As always, I have been your host, Callan Hale. Please make sure to hydrate, medicate, eat some good food, be kind to yourselves, be kind to each other, and stay tuned for tomorrow when we will be doing Terrifying Thursday and reviewing all the clues we found. Until next time, folks, stay wicked and stay creepy. This is Cal Hale signing off.